Let me answer that big question for you. How can you make one crore a year? One crore a year is seen as that uh, salary abound where you've arrived in life. What are the courses? What are the skill sets? What do you need to do to start earning one crore every year? Now, a lot of people believe, especially if you're coming from the world of business, it's about good financial analysis, valuations, Excel knowledge, sound logical brain that will take you there. The answer is it won't. These skills will take you only the first two years of your life, but the skills and the courses I'm going to talk to you about in the video will take you through that one crore magical number. But before we start, do subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon so that the next time I make a video, you come to know about it. So I would encourage you listen to the end of the video, the first half of the video, I'll talk about what are the five courses or the skill sets you need to need to know or master to get to that magical one crore number in your salary to become successful in your life. And the second half of this video, I'm going to talk about how you can learn every day so that you can master these uh, courses or these skills. So here are the five courses. Number one, behavioral psychology or behavioral economics. Why am I saying this is important? Because you have have to understand you're going to deal with human beings every day in your life human beings like vendors suppliers clients customers bosses peers people who work for you and if you understand how the human being works how the human drivers work you will do very well in these negotiations and the number of people you can positively influence will determine how fast you will grow up in your life so behavioral economics behavioral psychology is uh, extremely important as a skill set to master in life it's unfortunately it's not given that much importance um, not too many people are talked about it but it is uh, extremely extremely important moving to skill number two macroeconomics knowledge about macroeconomics why is this important because if you look at the world around us uh, increasingly macroeconomics and politics is determining business so for instance inflation is a macro problem but every company is suffering about suffering because of that every ceo is struggling with that if you see what happened with russia ukraine that is impacting global supply supply chains. If you're looking at the lockdowns in China, it's affecting the global supply chain. So knowledge of macroeconomics and understanding how that will affect your business is going to be very, very important. Course number three or skill number three is understanding leadership and managing people. Now, if you're coming from business school, what happens is uh, this is typically seen as a soft or a flushy or a mushy course, but uh, I cannot emphasize this enough that it is very, very important. Why is that? Because again, you will work with a lot of people around you. A lot of people will work for you and the number of people you can positively influence will determine how fast or how far you will go ahead in life. So understanding how to manage people, understanding the nuances of leadership, understanding your own styles are very, very critical. Skill set number four, the number one skill set you will need in life. If you master this, you are bound to become very, very successful and your salary will not end at one crore, but much, much more is storytelling. I'm, I've also written a book which is coming out very soon in terms of how storytelling works, but storytelling is an extremely powerful skill set because with storytelling, you can get people literally licking out of your hand and agreeing to whatever you want. So if you look at history, the number one reason why the human species has survived uh, despite it not being the strongest, not being the fastest, claws not being strong is the power of storytelling. Because of storytelling, people have been able to get others under one roof and work for them. So if you are a master storyteller, you are bound and destined to succeed. Number five, a skill set that is not spoken about enough is uh, managing your mental and emotional health. We are in very difficult times. The world is only going to get tougher. World is only going to get more competitive. How you manage your mental health and how you manage your emotional health will determine your long term success. It will determine whether you burn out or not. So here are the five skill sets or five courses you need to master. Not many people talk about it, but this is what you need to master to get to that one crore a year magical number or become very successful in life. Now, the second part of this video is how do you master some of these skills? And here are certain ideas you can start from. One, if you are in business school or if you are doing an executive MBA or if you're doing an online course, 
Pick up electives around the courses I spoke to you about. Macroeconomics, behavioral psychology, storytelling. You can pick up my own book, which is now a course where at most of the I am. So pick up electives around these topics. That is one way to get you started. Second, there are specific books which, uh, uh, which absolutely address these topics. So if you want to understand behavioral psychology, pick up this book called Nudge. Uh, if you want to understand leadership, managing people, read the biographies of famous people, Steve Jobs, uh, Jeff Bezos, and famous people. You'll get an understanding into their life. If you want to understand about macroeconomics, read the newspaper every day. I, I strongly encourage you listen to the podcast of The Economist. If you want to understand storytelling, again, you can again pick up my book, How Business Storytelling Works. And if you're looking to manage your mental and emotional health, uh, it's very simple. I've made a video on this, how to manage your mental health, but essentially it's about building a routine, going out for an hour in the morning, uh, managing your social media, avoiding the toxic connections, and you should look at the other video I have maintained. There are other sources you can also look at to learn about these five courses. And one very interesting source is the word of movies so certain movies you should look at so jobs for instance is an excellent movie you should look at moneyball in terms of how they look at numbers to drive human behavior essentially they look at numbers to pick baseball players uh, who are not in demand and they go on to win the cycle you can also look at web series look at web series like the mentalist how uh, patrick jane looks at human cues to identify who the killer is so here are some web series you can do my personal recommendation to understand macroeconomics of course number two is just read the newspaper every day i think that's very very powerful or follow a few podcasts or influencers like me i make a video in terms of five new stories you should know every week just follow that and that should be good enough so if you invest enough time in these five scales you're bound to get to that number and become a success story in your industry. So what other courses do you think are very important in life? Drop them in the comments box. I will try and answer as many as I can. And before we finish the channel, do subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell icon. Until next time, take care.